Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGameAct.com. Here we are today back in Bioshock, grabbing the Tonic Collector achievement. This is to grab all the tonics in the game. You can start grabbing tonics in the second level medical pavilion. The first one will be in the crematorium. It's labeled by the Eternal Flame sign. You're going to go in here and there is your first security camera right here. You can hack it if you want to. But if you turn around here, you should find this corpse and a furnace. So just hit A to use it. And that person should cook up and turn into ashes and should turn into your first tonic right here. It's called the Hacker's Delight. And then what you want to do is you want to head upstairs. There are going to be enemies up here, so get ready to do some fighting. And it's going to take this guy out. And once he's dead, you want to go into this room. You can do that by crouching. And you want to pick up the incinerate plasmid. And that will give you fire powers. And we're going to use that for getting the next couple of tonics. So we're going to head back downstairs and do a little bit of backtracking. You want to go out the door you came in and go outside and you want to turn here and then go downstairs and you should see a hunk of ice right here and you want to cast incinerate on it to melt the ice. This will give you access to another area. And what you want to do is you want to go in here. You're going to see a sign called Cure All, and you want to head in here. You want to take the door to the right, and then you want to crouch down here, bust open this ventilation shaft, and then go inside. Bust down this one, and there should be another tonic right over here. It's called the Wrench Jockey. All right, we're going to go outside now, so go back the way you came. Back in this room, and then go on outside. And go out this door, and then go straight. And you want to take a right here, and then a left. Then you should see some boxes. Jump on here, and you want to duck and go through the window. And then what you want to do is you want to make your way over here. Careful with the turret. That thing can put a few bullets in you. And grab the speedy hacker, um, Tonic. All right, this is uh, continue on with the story, you know, follow your arrow and it should lead you to this area. So once you get through this door and get to the surgical foyer, you're going to have a uh, nitro splicer right there. Start chucking grenades at you and he's going to blow up the rubble. What you want to do is you want to look at this balcony and he's going to come out here and he's going to start throwing some more grenades at us. You want to catch one with your telekinesis uh, power and throw it at the rubble. And when you do pick up your telekinesis, I recommend switching it out with your electrical bolts. The reason for that is um, you need incinerate for later on. Anyways, in that hallway should be the next tonic. Alright, this is the first room where you fight your first big daddy. What you want to do is, there's going to be ice here, and this is the reason why we wanted to save incinerate. But if you were like me and replaced incinerate with telekinesis, you want to use this trick where you will cast telekinesis on any item and bring it over to this fire. This is by the crematorium, by the way. And you want to get it um, lit like this and just keep throwing flaming objects at this block of ice. It will melt eventually. It takes a long time, but trust me, it will melt doing this way, but it's better if you just uh, held on to your telekinesis and it should melt and give you access to this room and then what you want to do is you want to head on inside and you want to go through this door and take a left into this flooded area then you want to go straight, you should see a silhouette of a doctor here and just look for it, it glows in the dark so it's not that hard to find and it will be right there and just pick it up Moving on to Neptune's Bounty, this is the third level. This is right at the beginning, once you head onto the wharf, there will be a Big Daddy out here. We're just going to ignore him for now, he won't hurt you if you don't provoke him. But grab the tonic, it is right here in the open, it is the medical expert one. This is when we are in the bar, what you want to do is you want to go upstairs, and then take these stairs, and then once you get to here, you're going to have to put in the combo 7533. That should open up the door, and by this dead couple should be an audio log and you want to listen to this audio log and it will trigger a little cutscene right here and the power is going to go out and this poster is going to fall down and it's going to give you the next tonic and just pick it up it's the shorten alarms tonic all right the next one is when you return to the upper wharf you are going to give your pictures back to peach wilkins 
on this ledge should be the wrench lurker and this is when we are heading back into the fishery to actually give him the photos and we're gonna knock on the door and he's gonna open it after a while and once you head on inside you want to cast incinerate on this block of ice and grab yourself the last tonic for the level and it is the focused hacker Alright, we're gonna skip ahead to the level Arcadia, which is actually the fourth level. And the first one, you're gonna go through this room, and you're gonna go through here. This is when you are trying to go and find the rose to cure the poison. And you're gonna find these three splicers, and they'll be huddled around the uh, tonic. This one is when you are trying to deliver the rose to the professor. She's gonna open the door, and on her desk will be the second plasmid. Moving on to the farmer's market, there are going to be two in here. The first one is when you get to the actual market area, you want to take the right route and head downstairs. It will be by this dead guy. And this next one I recommend picking up It is when you are in the winery. And the reason for this pickup is it increases your research points whenever you take a picture. So this will help you get other tonics. You want to duck down here when you head downstairs and crawl through here. And it should be right here. Continuing on to Fort Frolic, the first one is when you enter the elevator, you are going to have to push the button to call it. Some bad guys are going to come and bring the ruckus, so get ready to fight. Quick wrench to the face takes care of that. And once they're all dead, the elevator should come down. Uh, you can loot their bodies if you are in need of some cash. But the elevator will come down, just give it time. And you hop inside, push the button, and ride it to the top. And this is when we are going after the first guy that uh, Cohern is trying to kill. And once we hit the top, you can leave very slowly. Alright, there we go. We are going to be in this music hall right here, and he'll be playing the piano strapped to some dynamite. Just wait till he blows up. You're going to have to take a picture of him, but after you do that, you want to hop the railing, jump on the balcony, and head through this door, and you want to make a U-turn and go through this door. You want to clear the chairs out of the way, just hit them, you know, get them out of the way. And then you want to hop on the um, railing and try to make a running jump across. And you can see the tonic right here, you just have to grab it. And this is when we are going after the second guy in the ice room. You are going to have to melt these frozen mannequins. And he'll be over here, once you melt him, he'll come back to life, and all you have to do is just beat him up. And if you loot his body, you can find your next tonic. It is the Frozen Field Tonic. After that, this is when we are going for the fourth um, picture. What you want to do is you want to head upstairs and go into the um, ice tunnel again to get to the other side. Basically the Poseidon Plaza. And once again, careful of spider splicers. Those dudes are really scary. Anyways, it's going to be over here. And now another area should open up when the fourth guy spawns. Careful for the big daddy. That guy can give you trouble, especially on a harder difficulty. Anyways, this area will open up. It'll say more items downstairs. And you can head on downstairs. And you can see this flooded area with a ton of mannequins. And in the corner should be your next tonic. There it is, and the last one, this is after you have all four pictures, and then Cohern is going to come downstairs and thank us. And what a better way to thank us than to give us a tonic. Now, here is a note for you going for the uh, story achievement. Do not kill him. You need to keep him alive to get some more uh, tonics later on. So whatever you do, do not kill him. It may be tempting. He is kind of a jerk. And, but you know, don't kill him, and you should get some more tonics later on. But here is another one, and after you get that, another room is going to open up. We're going to go back to the guitar room from earlier, and I'm going to show you how to do that. What you want to do is, you want to head back upstairs, go into Fleet Hall, which is this area right here, and then you want to turn around, go around the corner. There are new enemies in here, so get ready to do some fighting uh, in case they might sneak up on you. Head upstairs into the guitar room, which is to the left, and a new area should have opened up, which is the projector room, and if you go in here, you can grab another tonic. Moving on to the level Hephaestus, the first one will be when you get to Ryan's trophy room with all the corpses hung on the wall with arrows. You want to head into the room on the right, and it will be on this desk. 
The second one is when you are going into the heat loss monitoring room, you want to head on downstairs and there will be a big daddy in here for you people who want to kill him. Anyways, on this floor you want to take a right and on this desk should be your next tonic. This is when we are trying to construct the bomb by looking for that one guy's office. You want to head into here and all the way in the back should be a secret room. And what you want to do is you want to crouch and open up this crawl space. I already opened it up to grab the audio log, but next to the audio log on this table should be your next tonic. And the last one for this level is when you're going after Ryan, you're going to head up to this place and then you're going to have this hallway. As soon as you open this door, you're going to get a cutscene and after that ends, you can find the tonic right here. Moving on to the level Olympus Heights, the first one is when you enter the Mercury Suites, the area with all the apartments, you want to head to the left and head to Su Chong's apartment. So once you see this tree right here, head to the left. It's the room next to the vending machine and it is right here. And what you want to do is you want to go straight into the water and take a left and on this desk should be your first tonic. And there's only two for this level. The second tonic is when you are going to Fontaine Suite. You're going to have to enter the code 5744. That will open up the elevator and allow you to go to his apartment. You are going to go past this sand garden. There are, go there are going to be enemies here, so get ready to do some fighting. But once you are inside, you want to head upstairs. You know it's the right place if you see the bear statue. And you want to head through this door, and then you should be in this room. Take another left, and you should... Go to this room, and in here, if you can parkour the electric wire, is the next tonic. Now we can move on to the Apollo Square level. The first one is when you get to the clinic area. You want to look for the Circus of Values vending machine. That's when you know you're in the right place. Head up the stairs, and we are going to go all the way to the Suchan Clinic, because that is part of the story. You're going to have to do it anyways. It's going to be here, the one that says free rent and make your way to this door on the right which leads to this room and where the bathroom is should be the first tonic and the second and final one for this level is before you go in the bathosphere you want to turn around go to Fontaine's Center for the Poor and you want to head all the way upstairs to Atlas's headquarters careful for the big daddy and just gotta make all um, your way up. It's on the fifth floor, so it's quite the climb. Uh, I already took out all the enemies in here, so you know, get ready to do some fighting as well. But you want to make your way until you can find this door. Open it up, and in here is Atlas's headquarters. And you want to take a right here and go downstairs, and then take a left. And on the desk should be the tonic. Alright, here we are in Point Prometheus, the final level of the game with collectibles. From the main hall, what you want to do is you want to take a right and head up the stairs. And you want to go through these doors right here, next to the broken pipe. And we are going to head into the Little Wonders Educational Facility. You can only access this room through the second floor. So if you're trying to get to here on the bottom floor and are getting stuck, that is the reason why. Once you are in, head downstairs and take a right. You want to go to the autopsy room, which is in the back right here. There will be a gene bank in here, as well as a camera. But in the back, on this desk, will be your first tonic for the level. Alright, you want to head on back to the main hall. Just do that by going the way you came. So go back upstairs. This is a very big level, and it's very sprawling and very easy to get lost. Alright, so head back to the main hall, you got this place, and go through the hallway. And so what you want to do is, from here, you want to take a right, go into this area called Optimize Eugenics. You want to take the right door, and you're going to have the decontamination thing. This takes a while, so, you know, be prepared to do some waiting. You want to take your first right into this room with all these tubes with yellow liquid. Climb the stairs, and you want to take a right here into candidate induction and on this filing cabinet should be your next tonic all right from there we're gonna go back to the main hall so just go back the way you came once again pretty simple uh, do some backtracking 
And if you want to go back into decontamination, there's a big daddy there. Say hi if you want to. And once you are back outside, you want to go straight into the failsafe armored escort. Now this room is very easy to get lost in, so pay attention. Take the right door, and you're going to have another decontamination progress thing. And you want to go over here, take a left, go into suit assembly, and then you want to take a left, and then you want to hop the rail onto the stairs, and then go straight. Go straight until you can find the candidate induction, which is right here. And go through here. This is the room with all the helmets. You want to go all the way to the back where the helmets are. And you want to take a left. And on this table should be your next tonic. And the very last tonic in the game, at least in terms of collectibles, because the achievement requires you to collect, invent, and buy 53 tonics. So this is the last one you can actually pick up. So you want to head back to the main hall. And you're going to have another decontamination thing. And once that's over, you can go back out here. You want to go all the way to the balcony and take a left. We are going to head into the library. And once you are in here, take your first left into these doors. You're going to have a camera there, so you want to take it out. And preferably with a gun, or you can do a jump shot with your camera. Or take out the camera and take, out, uh, take pictures like a failure like me. Anyways, go straight. There will be a turret here, so take him out too. And the tonic will be on this desk. As I said, that is the last one you can pick up. So you're going to have to invent a couple to get the achievement. So you're going to have the Hacker's Delight 2, the Booze Hound, and the Bloodlust. And those can only be gotten at a you invent machine. So be prepared to have the ingredients. And the, those are the only ways you can uh, get that one. Alright, so the next tonics you can get are from um, Little Sister Gifts. So hopefully you've been saving them. And the very final ones in the game you have to buy from the Gatherer's Garden. So save your atom. Any atom you don't spend on slots, you want to spend on tonics. So just buy as many as you can. Hopefully you've been saving them up and you need to buy the rest of them pretty much. And once you've bought the last one, you should get the achievement for 50 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.